Good morning guys. I am on my way to a wedding and I am driving Eric's beat up bouncy truck that I can't stand to drive. But the whole family couldn't come because, sorry guys, I'm bouncing a bunch. <laughs> um, Jacob woke up at five o'clock this morning throwing up. And then he's had some other stomach issues, you know, ever since then. So I didn't think it was a good idea for him to come. And actually, while we were going to the wedding, Eric, Xander, and I, he was supposed to go to one of his best friend's birthday parties. And they were going to go see that Wreck-It Ralph, maybe, and then go have lunch. So he was very, very, very disappointed when he found out that he couldn't go. And I don't blame him. You know, it was hard to tell him no. But he's obviously got some kind of stomach virus. I'm really hoping it's just one of those 24-hour bugs. So... And I really hope that he starts feeling better soon. He has a basketball game today too, guys. His very first one that Eric is coaching. So I think we're going to go up there and watch. And then if Eric needs him because we're short on players or something, then he will play. But I really don't want him to play. And I really don't think that we should be up there just because I don't want him to contaminate anybody else. But as long as we're sitting away from everybody and just kind of warn them, you know, don't sit by us. I think it should be okay, but this is going to be the first game that Eric coaches by himself, and I really want to be there to support him. So I think we're going to do that, because um, there's a lot of kids that haven't taken their birth certificates up there, and they have to have that to be able to play in today's game. So if they're short a player, you know, I don't want to forfeit, so then that way Jacob can play. But we'll see. We'll let you guys know how it goes, and I'll try to get some footage of the wedding, too. We are on our way to the first basketball game of the season, and I'm so stoked I get to coach. I'm not really looking forward to coaching, but I know I can do a good job. I'll do I'll do the best I can with what I've got, you know? I, I don't have any head coaching experience, so we'll see. I ran the practices pretty good while coach has been out. At least Jacob said so, right, dude? What? Did I do practices good? Yes. Yeah? What are you playing back there? Angry Bird Star Wars. On your nook? Yes. Yep. So he got that. He got to get that on his nook since he played so good at baseball this week. I, I told him that I was gonna reward him and I'd go ahead and buy that for him. What are you doing back there, Xander? You sleepy still? Daddy just wake you up? <laughs> FYI, I uh, came in second place at poker last night. Somebody Jacob's playing in the game, and there's Coach Eric over there. Let's go up. What? We got people, no fighting. Yeah? Jacob's number five. <laughs> one with 15 seconds left. Good job. We have 11 seconds left and we have the ball. Down by one. Go Chris. Go Chris. Get it to Morton. Good game, boys. So good job on your first game of coaching. I let Mark down. We no, lost. you didn't. We lost by one point. To some third graders, and we were exactly. 
Uh, I, uh, I think you did good. Uh, I, think it's, uh, I think the score, it started out, it was like seven to nothing. Yes. Before we scored our first basket because they were putting so much pressure on us. And I wasn't thinking ahead of time. I forgot that in this league, you can pressure full court. Instead and, of half court. Yeah, like every, like we used to only get pressure at half court. So I wasn't thinking about it. At half time, I switched it up though. And got us back in the game. We took the lead at one point. Still lost though. It's okay, you did good. Lost by one point. Marty will still be proud. What was the final score? Um, 13 to 12. 13 yeah. to 12. High scoring, high powered <laughs> offenses. <laughs> nah, nah, it was just the pressure. We'll, we'll work on it in practice. Put more pressure on the other team and how to face pressure better. Right. <clears throat> how are you feeling, Jacob? Good. You feeling better? Oh, I got cut. He had a rough night. Yeah, I kind of explained it. Oh, okay. But I thought it was a 24-hour bug, and what do you think it is? I think it's uh, we ate something bad yesterday because my stomach's been bugging me today. And you guys had the same thing last I, yeah, night. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, me and him ate the same salad dressing, and I think it didn't taste all that good. Not from our so, house. Yeah, not from our house. <laughs> but I forgot. As I was eating, I was like, this is something taste like I didn't even finish my salad, and I always clean my salads up. But. Yuck. Y'all had a rotten salad yeah, dressing. I think we had bad salad dressing. So he has been Jacob's been fine now ever too. since. Yeah, yeah, ever since he's been fine once he got it out of him. Look at that sunset guys. Oh, it is so pretty. It's gorgeous. Don't you think so? Sorry. You look pink from the sunset. Well when we first started driving it was like purple. And then it turned like a pink. Now it has like an orange tint to it too. Looks so pretty. What is that, Xander? A uh, crab. A crab. <laughs> it's a lobster. Where are we at? Not red crab. Where are we at? Red lobster. Red lobster, yep. What are y'all doing over there? They were hiding from you guys. We found you. Are you climbing a tree, Xander? Yeah. And flip Yeah. Don't drop that nook, dude. So we come to Red Lobster to climb the trees? Oh, yes, and we go to Toy Dress. Oh, we are? We buy oh, oh, we are? We I are? That. Oh, okay. Let's go. It's a good climbing tree.